welcome back to our channel and so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial video and it is how to do a French braid so let's get started okay so I'm going to be doing my French braid tutorial on my doll and her name is Katie. I don't really play with her anymore and I recommend using one that you don't really play with anymore and it has hair so her hair um, like I don't actually play with them like I just do that anyway so first thing you're going to want to do is take a section of hair and then use this and then you're going to want to split it into three parts. So you're going to start off doing like a really small braid. And so, okay. and um, so if, if you are going to do a fresh braid I recommend learning how to do it because that really helps so and then you're gonna do put the right side into the middle and put the left side into the middle and now you're back to right again and so this is kind of where the whole French braid thing happens so what you're gonna do is so you're gonna take the right side of the part and take a small piece of hair from the side and then put it over. And then you're going to pretty much keep doing that on both sides until we get to the bottom. And so I'm going to time lapse this part. And so here's her side of the hair. It looks amazing because I've been doing French braids since for two years now. So that's two years of French braiding people. So don't be, don't feel bad if it doesn't look the way you want it to be because trust me, your first French braids are never easy. And so once you have all the hair and you have three parts, you're probably wondering, what do I do with these? You just start doing a regular braid. So basically you take the hair like gather up around like near the middle of the ear so like I'm gonna do it like right there and just like get all the hair make sure it's even because it's not gonna look pretty trust me and so then you're just gonna braid until there until hair starts kind of poking up and so Hair pokes out like during, like in the first few um, twists. I recommend using like a spray bottle and then like holding it together, and that really helps because that prevents flyaways and it stays in longer and it looks a lot prettier. And then you're gonna take an elastic, and if you have really um, thick hair like me, um, you're gonna want to use a regular hair band like these, but if you have really thin hair, um, I recommend using a really thin elastic. So then you're gonna wrap it around like that. So here is her French braid. It looks really good. So, believe it or not, I do this as a hobby and I really wanna do it in my career, but the problem is um, you can't really make a lot of money with hairstyling, so that's my only downside. So, yeah. And, so that was my video, and so thanks for watching, please click like and subscribe, and in the comments, let us know how your first French braid turned out. And my first French braid looks really bad, but after a while, I actually learned it from my friend, and she told me how to do it, and then first one looked good-ish, and then it got better and better and so just so you know your first French braid is never the prettiest unless you're just like naturally good at things but maybe you are maybe you aren't but anyways thank you guys so much for watching bye